Gemini, I hope you are doing well. I am coming to you with a message for you. Please be reminded that not every message will always resonate. Resonate. If I can speak for every single Gemini, okay? But there could be something in this reading for you. So just checking my phone. Uh, I hope you are doing well, wherever you are in the world. Gemini. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, I am very grateful to have you. Gemini, let's see what spirit needs you to know at this time. Please be reminded that roles could be reversed. So I could be talking about you. I could be picking up on somebody else's situation that is connected to you. Vice versa. Okay, so use your discernment when you are watching and use an open mind at all times when you are watching tarot not every message is always for you please leave whatever that isn't for the next person working too hard angel of time some of you may need to take a break okay some of you could be tiring yourself out trying to rush a process there could be something where you're trying to save up for a big purchase or make something happen here and you are needing to maybe balance your time in a way. I am Kali from Death Comes Rebirth. Something may be ending, something may need to end, okay, in order for something else to emerge from something here. It could be two separate messages or oh, a lot of cards. Messages for Gemini. Okay, we have Fearless Ghost and the Haunted Girl. Ghost people. Okay, some of you could be distancing yourself at this time and you're possibly using work as some sort of vice or something to distract you from a situation that you could be going through. Violet Duchess, stifled, bored and stuck. interesting there's a situation that you felt stuck to or bound to and something is changing in that dynamic there and again you know there's a message to make sure you're tackling things head on and not possibly using other things as a distraction that may be tiring yourself out like work overdoing it overindulgence for some of you it's time for a treat, Candy Cane Angel. It's definitely time for you to take a break. Some of you could be needing to do something fun, okay? Go to a fun fair is what I'm hearing, so random, okay? Some of you could be definitely needing to get in touch with your uh, childlike side, you know, have some sort of fun. Some of you could be all work and no play at this time. Trust me, I know what that's like. Speaking from experience. All work, no play, no adult time, no nothing. You know, it's it's you need to find some sort of balance here. Messages for Gemini. There's definitely something or someone that you're cutting out here because you feel like you've just grown tired of a situation here and you felt stuck to something. You felt like something was holding you back. You possibly felt like something was keeping you small. Okay. Messages for Gemini, please. We have the Four of Pentacles. Again, some, some of you could be saving money, saving up for something. I picked up on the saving energy or trying to, uh, you're saving something. Resources I'm getting. Three of Cups. Again, there's a message here I'm getting about you going out, having a good time. Some of you could be not doing this or you've not gone out in a long time you've not experienced any sort of fun any sort of downtime in any way shape or form and it's having an effect on you here seven of pentacles some of you could just be sitting and waiting for something to come into fruition and a watched pot never boils okay things take a lot longer when you're watching and waiting for them to happen some of you could be needing to go out there and do something else in order for things to just manifest naturally. Queen of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a earth sign here. Had to look at who I'm who I'm reading for. Gemini. 
if you're saving your money or you have something in the pipeline that you're waiting to come to fruition or you've invested in something, this is to do with your work and your stability. That's going to come through for you. You're going to be celebrating something with that three of cups. There's going to be a happy outcome. Whatever you're saving for or working towards, it's coming. It's coming. And it's going to allow you to, it's going to open up more opportunities for you. Because you've put in some sort of hard work, King of Swords. Definitely for some of you, you've had to become more, this could be to do with your work here. Some of you could be working towards some sort of managerial position here. Yeah. The Sun, the Ten of Pentacles. What am I trying to tell you? Happiness and stability happiness and increase in finances some of you definitely are going to have a breakthrough where it comes to something you've been saving for something you've been trying to achieve in relation to your money i definitely see that here and that death card has come out you see kali is on that card also and we have kali that came out here there's some sort of change some sort of uh rebirth that's happening at this time with that death card, Scorpionic energy, okay? And, you know, you're going to be in a more comfortable position here. I see something working out very, very well for you. So if you've had any worry or concern over this, please uh, don't worry. But I do feel like some of you are going to be able, or you're going to need to take some sort of break and to kind of have a bit of fun after this. You possibly have worked really, really hard on something and it's coming to the time where you're feeling pretty tired, pretty drained. And it's going to be time for you to rest. Okay. In other news, somebody could be wanting to reconcile with you. Somebody who emotionally detached from you. This could be somebody, again, that you've ghosted. This could be somebody who you felt stuck in a situation um, with. With this King of Swords energy, you're dealing with somebody who is very emotionally stagnant, emotionally closed off to you. And I feel like this is what was keeping you bored, stuck. There was no emotion there. And you're looking for... In terms of a relationship, you're looking for more fun. Again, I'm getting fun. Looking for somebody who is a little bit looser in the hips. I don't know why I just said that or heard that. But that's what I'm getting. So I've got to tell you. Clarify this uh, four of pentacles, three of cups. Two of swords. You don't see this coming. The fact that you're going to be celebrating. You're going to have a positive outcome to something you've been um, saving for. Holding back for waiting on yeah eight of wands is positive shift forward you've definitely been focused heavily on this some of you could be dealing with a capricorn or you have a capricorn in your energy who may want to speak to you that's two different messages there but with that uh devil card you've been very very focused on this obsessively focused on this again there's a need for you to take a break mentally mentally be able to close off from something here before you burn yourself out but whatever this is, you're, you've been waiting. You've been definitely waiting obsessively for whatever this success that is about to happen. I cannot make this up with the six of wands there. Definitely could be dealing with a Capricorn or you've got Capricorn highly aspected in your chart, Gemini. Okay, there's a breakthrough. There's a breakthrough here. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. This is going to be different for everybody. But there's definitely something you've been saving for or waiting for to happen for you. What is this Queen of Pentacles, King of Swords? Some of you, it's a, a promotion. The devil came out. I cannot make this up. Six of Wands is still there. Success. Whatever you've been obsessing about, whatever you've been working towards, like overly working towards, no breaks. I'm hearing no breaks. It's coming to fruition. Yeah, it's going to make you more balanced. It's going to bring you to possibly a, a calmer place financially here. You know, you're going to be more able to do things. The sun and the ten of pentacles, the queen of swords. Yeah. Queen of wands. 
yeah this is going to give you a good boost to your ego possibly some of you could have felt like you didn't have enough or you was lacking in some way shape or form but you're going to be able to practice what you preach i'm hearing you're going to be in a in a position where you're going to be able to call the shots in a way you're going to be very um you're going to be in in control with this new opportunity that you're going to be presented with the page of pentacles there and with that queen of wands you're going to have a lot of passion for whatever this is and the queen of swords you know what you're talking about you know what you're doing you're going to be very skilled at whatever this is that you're doing and you're going to be able to be confident in what you're doing here massive change page of pentacles this new opportunity yeah the patience that you've had Okay, the patience that you've had to have in this situation to work towards this is going to pay off with that opportunity there. Eight of Pentacles definitely has something to do with your job, your work, the work that you put into something here. No more feeling stuck. If you've been experiencing some sort of stuck energy, that is coming to an end. You're possibly going to have a new working partnership that you're going to be presented with or collaborations people are going to be on your side is what i'm getting wow how does this end for gemini how does this end for gemini hanged one see things clearly five of cups ten of swords you're changing your perspective on the past Anything that didn't work out for you will work out in your favour here. Any regrets of the past that you may have had here, there's a shift in perspective. And I feel like that's what you're going to find is more valuable than anything here. With that temperance card and the ten of wands, you've had to work really, really hard. For some of you, you could have felt like something wasn't going to come into this balanced energy, this temperance energy, Sagittarius energy. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or have it highly aspected. But there's a balance in that's coming out through this opportunity. You're going to be able to make peace with the past is what i'm getting temperance talks about peace balance harmony here you're going to be able to make peace with any sort of betrayals any sort of regret any feelings of feeling as though you are um regretting anything from your past and with this hanged one it's a brand new day it's a new dawn it's a new day nina simone is what i'm hearing wow Gemini, that is what I have for you. If you like how I read, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. It is greatly appreciated. But until next time, wow, I'm excited for you. Wow, you take care. Bye.